Friends, we are continuing in the Old Testament book of Hosea. And to this morning, what we're looking at is chapter 7. You may remember in chapter 6, there was some really half-hearted repentance on the part of Israel. And the Lord pointed that out. That, that continues in chapter 7 this exposing of half-hearted repentance. So in chapter 7, we read, they, they, being Israel, do not consider that I remember all their evil. Now, their deeds surround them. They are before my face. The Lord knows. The Lord knows not even just what we do, but what we say, and even the depths of our hearts. Even Jesus indicates in John 2, you know, we know that Jesus knew what was in the heart of a man. And we see that in so many episodes throughout the Gospels. So he, he goes on, Hosea does, to say, by their evil, they make the king glad. So the authorities are happy about the evil of the people, and, and the princes are happy about the treachery of the people why? Because Hosea says they're all adulterers. In other words, they're all unfaithful to God. And it says that this is a matter of their hearts. See, with hearts, they meditate on sin and all of them in their hearts. The imagery used here is they're hot as an oven. They are ready to bake. And Ephraim, meaning the northern kingdom, mixes himself with the peoples. So they, they've they picked up so much from the surrounding people groups. And it says the pride of Israel testifies to his face. So right before his very own eyes, Israel should know of his pride. Yet they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. So this is the key point here, is that Israel may have some kind of motions of turning back to God, but the one who can judge this best is the Lord, who knows the hearts of his people. And here he plainly says, no, there's a deep-seated pride, both in the rulers and in the people, and they do not return to the Lord your God. So if you do not return to him, you have not really repented. If you do not seek him, you haven't repented. And so what, what is pointed out is that Israel, God's covenant people, especially in the north, uh, that as they've moved away from the true worship of God and moved away from him, that they're flitting around like a bird. He said, Ephraim is like a dove, silly and without sense, calling to Egypt. Look at that power to the south and the west, going to Assyria in the north and the east, another empire. As they go, I will spread over them my net, this silly bird, God's chosen people. I'm going to spread over them his own net, God says, uh, woe to them, they've strayed from me, and so they have destruction that's coming to them. Why? Because they've rebelled against me, the Lord says. He says this also, said, I would redeem them. You know, I'd buy them back. Just as Hosea had to go and buy back Gomer, I would, I would redeem them. But they speak lies against me. They, they just won't really make peace. They do not cry to me from the, from the heart, but they wail upon their beds. There's a lot of crying going on, but their heart is actually in trouble. See, what he says is they're crying, not because they rebel against God and they want a better relationship, but they're crying for grain and for wine. He says they gash themselves. They devise evil, though, against me, God says, they return, but not upward. No, they're returning every to every other place that they can find, to the Egyptians, to the Assyrians. And so their princes, well, they, they fall by the sword because of the insolence of their tongue. 
and this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. So, uh, you know, eventually some of the people are just gonna, going to go to Egypt and it's, it's not going to work out well for them. You see, this is true in the New Testament age too. We're called to a repentance that is right starting from the heart, you know, the very soul of mankind, the will, you know, the delights of mankind. We need a new heart. And then from that to have a true repentance and Christ can work this in us by the Spirit. Father, thank you that your Son, who is perfect in all that he thinks and says and does, that your Son is willing to send forth the Spirit from you, Father, through Jesus. The Spirit would do this work of producing true repentance. We seek you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.